Good evening, boys and girls, ladies, mmm, and gentlemen. Turn the lights down low and shut your faces as I present to you Alpha 17. Here I have my beautiful assistant, and she's going to help me today with the weapons and the mods in Alpha 17. So hold on to your butts, and we're going to get started. Let's uh, get out of this view. Oh, hello, ground. So as you can see, I'm here on the farm. Um, it's over by, uh, what's it called? Dyersville? Is that what it's called? I can't remember now. Um, but anyway, so yes, weapons and their mods. Uh, today, to help me out, I have got these wood blocks here. These beautiful new wood blocks in Alpha 17. Whoa, crouching is a lot lower than it, a lot higher than it used to be. Anyway, well, let's move on, get to the nitty gritty. First of all, it doesn't look like there's really any new weapons, uh, they're all pretty much the exact same. Some of them have new models, and of course they have new reload animations and things like that, but we'll focus on that stuff later, because that's just cosmetic. We're going to focus on the actual uh, firepower and how they work and how the mods work with them. So some of you know, um, the weapons have been changed, actually all the items have been changed, durability and levels. Um, you can no longer get a level, what could you get before, like level 600 um, weapon? An item, you can no longer do that. Now it has levels 1 through 6. Um, and this is the same for weapons. You now have, level, you now have levels 1 through 6. Um, and with that, um, you have these mods, which I'll talk about in just a little bit here. Um, and depending on the level, you can modify that weapon and you can add mods to the weapon. Um, so like if you want to have more ammo, uh, laser sight, a uh, silencer, things like that. Um, so, but I'll talk about those in just a little bit. We're just going to look at the base models of these weapons right now. Um, I have varying levels of weapons, so their damage is going to be a little bit different from weapon to weapon. But uh, yeah, this is just going to give you a general idea of how powerful these weapons are, and you can see their kickback. So first we've got the pistol, shooting at just a regular wood block. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five hits, and your wood block is through. Um, you unfortunately cannot shoot blocks can you? Is that actually damaging it? Uh, let's get an axe in here. Oh, that is damaging it. Huh. Alright, I didn't think you could actually damage blocks after you'd gotten through that uh, initial state. Anyway, okay, so that many hits to uh, get through a block. Uh, not too bad, not too bad of kickback. I like it. I like the pistol. Um, aiming down the sights, it uh, feels pretty good. Um, it's pretty accurate. Let's, uh, I already took some shots up at this house. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll start over... On this side here, we'll see how accurate this is. One shot, two shots, three, four, five. All right, six. Is that how many it was before? I can't remember. Um, and those wood blocks may be more pow. Whoa! I just reloaded while I was aiming down the sights. That's funny. Let's try that again. Fourteen, and it reloads. That's weird. And now it plays the animation. Good job. Okay, moving on to the revolver. Uh, let's see. Uh, I like it. It's a good. It's a good-looking gun. Nice reflections. Aiming down the sights feels good. Let's see how many hits it takes to kill this block. One. Whoa, that is a lot of kickback. Two. Two hits and it's gone. So that's uh, not bad at all. Uh, the reload animation is pretty cool. Yeah, spin it. And now let's see the accuracy on the farmhouse. Got one shot. Whoa. Two shots. Two shots, not bad. Can I reload this one while I'm holding it up next to me? <laughs> yep, I can. That's funny. Okay, and moving on. Oh, now, now it plays the reload animation. Good job. All right, now we're moving on to the SMG. Um, this one, oh, I haven't been talking about ammo types. Uh, so we got 9 mil. Uh, we've got, uh, uh, what is this guy again? Uh, the 44, yeah, 44 Magnum round. That's what it is. 44, and then uh, 9 mil for the SMG. All right, here we go. One, two, three, whoa. All right, a lot better power with the same bullet than the pistol compared to this block, three hits instead. Um, now I kind of want to hold this down on this block and see what the uh, kickback is. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, aiming down the sights, let's see how well I can get this block up here. If I can get in three, we got one, two, three, not bad. How can I reload with this one? Uh, yep, I can. So it seems like you can. It seems like it's you can reload with every gun without uh, without getting out of you know aiming down the sights instead of aiming from the hip. So I guess that's good. I don't know. It's kind of weird. All right, um, we're gonna move on to the blunderbuss. I actually need to grab some ammo. 
Uh, blunderbuss ammo. There we go. Let's uh, get that reloaded. I always like this animation. It's kind of cool. Uh, and the mod looks pretty good, too. I like the reflections. Not bad at all. All right, let's go for uh, damage. The one problem with this gun, though, is, yeah, the reload time and you get one shot. And you've got to be super close or else it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Or at least that's how it was in Alpha 16.4, so they could have uh, changed it for this one. But as you can see, just trying to shoot this one block, yeah, that took, that took a long time. Um, so it's definitely an early state weapon, but you don't want to be relying on this too far in the game. Um, so yeah, and, and accuracy, it's, it's as bad as a shotgun trying to shoot things from a distance, so I'm not even, whoa. That was fun. Ready for this? <laughs> I'm gonna have to report that bug. Okay, so, oh, moving on to the shotgun, uh, we will, uh, I think this is the exact same, uh, model as the old one. Interesting. Alright, let's, uh, see the damage done to this block. One hit, two hits, three hits. Wow, same amount of hits as the, uh, ump to the, to this block with nine millimeter. That's strange. Uh, they still didn't make it so when you so it doesn't show how many bullets you put in there, which is just weird. I don't know why they haven't done that yet. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that's the shotgun. Again, you probably don't want to use shotgun at long range. It doesn't do a whole lot, but as you can see, it hit pretty much just right there. That's some very controlled firepower for a shotgun. Okay, Whoop, moving along. We're here to the hunting rifle. Another one shot gun. Let's see how many shots it takes to take this thing out. Two shots. All right, some good firepower. Should also be very accurate if we uh, scope in right there. Got one shot, it reloads on its own. Two shots, and there we go. And then it plays the animation again. Um, I also noticed that uh, it's like we'll, we'll shoot out here, so I can I can very easily make it from one block to the next. But if I shoot and I reload, it slows me down, and I can barely make it from one block to the next. Just weird thing I noticed. Okay, um, so this has now changed from being the quote-unquote sniper rifle to being, um, this is just considered the marksman rifle. And that is because when you first get it, you are not going to have a scope on it. Because, of course, they have mods now, so they don't need to give you that um, right out the gate. You've got to find the mods and make it a sniper rifle, essentially. But luckily, um, you've got five shots instead of one, like it is with the hunting rifle. So you've got a few more shots, and it seems to do the same amount of damage to wooden blocks. Um as the hunting rifle did. So let's get that reloaded. It's a good model. I really like this model. Uh, not quite as reflective as the others. I wonder if they're ever going to make it so, uh, you know, it'll be more shiny as it's a, if it's a higher level to indicate it's newer. I, I don't know. Just a, just a thought. Um, so that's going to do it on the weapon. Oh, oh geez. I almost missed the most important one, the AK. Wow. AK looks like the exact same model. Uh, a little bit of reflection going on. Seems a little more shiny up there near the front. Um, also, let's let's go back here with this gun and uh, see how accurate this is without any sights. We got one shot, two shots. Not bad at all. Okay, AK. All right, one, two, three, three. Not bad. Let's see the recoil on this thing. Whoa! It it, it moves. It recoils to the left, to the right. Is it just a random recoil? That is super bizarre. But okay. I mean, I guess, you know, AK-47, it, uh, it's sporadic. Sure, why not? Let's see how accurate we've got. We've got one, two, three. Okay, pretty accurate weapon. And uh, yeah, that should, uh, that should do it for the weapons. Now let's take a look at the modifiers for these weapons. So as I was saying before, based on the level of the weapon, it depend that uh, changes how many modifiers you can have. So like for, say, for, say, um, these different weapons where they've only got one slot, uh, where they level one, they will have zero slots. Um, and then everything above that's like level two. You can modify it. And it's going to have one slot. Um, this one's going to have three slots, four slots, five slots. Um, and so that way you've got uh, more of an opportunity to. Whoa, that's a bug too. You have to hit modify again to be able to have it update. Huh. Now here's something that I wonder. If I'm clicked on the SMG and I try and put the silencer on here. Uh, can I 
just hold down shift and it'll apply. Oh, good. Oh, uh, no, because it's still saying pistol over there. That's right. Okay. Now, what if we come in here? Okay, so you've got your stuff there. Okay, okay, that's fine. So that's not, I mean, that's not really a bug, technically. Um, but anyway, so let's go, let's go over these mods. So, um, I guess we'll just start here at the, uh, well, let's sort the inventory really quick, and then uh, look at these mods. So we've got the barrel extender, which is going to increase the damage, range, and aimed accuracy, but makes the weapon more unwieldy when fired from the hip. Um, so if you've got this barrel extender, you're definitely going to want to be aiming down the sights to take shots. I mean, of course you are. I mean, you're not going to want to put this on a pistol and uh, aim from the hip if you're trying to extend the barrel. So something like this would be perfect for the marksman rifle. Um, so, you know, you throw that on there and uh, and then there you go. You've got an extended barrel on there. I don't, can't really see it. Can you see it? Well, uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can see it. We'll uh, modify that weapon and take that off. All right. Okay, never mind, you can't see it. That's strange. Um, they'll probably get to that eventually, make it so you can see what's on the gun. But that doesn't. What if you like put a 4x scope on there? Is it gonna show then? I know I'm kind of getting. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it shows a 4x scope. Um, I know it's getting a little bit out of out of order, but I I was kind of curious. I wanted to see if you could actually see what people had on their weapons. So I guess you can see some things and not other things. Good to know. Okay, so, uh, whoops, what did I do? There we go. Okay, um, so yeah, back to the modifiers. So you've got the barrel extender. Um, next is the bipod, which is increased aimed accuracy. Very nice to have. A flash suppressor reduces the muzzle flash, making it easier for you to see and harder to be seen. Uh, wait, the fla flash suppressor reduces the muzzle flash, making it easier for you to see and harder to be seen. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so from a distance, if you're shooting at night, um, this is going to create um, less um, less of a flash so the zombies aren't going to see you at night, which, uh, which would be very handy, especially if you're caught out in the dark, or if you're in PvP and you're trying to shoot people from a distance, um, keep it so they can't see you quite as well so they don't know where you're shooting from. Um, next is the foregrip, which will improve your handling and aiming accuracy. Could be very nice to have. A laser sight. This is going to help with aiming quickly and increases accuracy when firing from the hip. This one would be really nice with, uh, let's say, the AK-47. Um, because if you've got um, a gun with sporadic aiming, um, you know, look at that. You can, you can pull up your sights a lot faster. And I'm out of ammo. Let's uh, get that reloaded with the funny no load animation, and uh, that reduces the. Let's let's get over here. As you can see, it reduces the craziness a lot more. Um, the the movement of the weapon a lot more having that on there. So that's that's really nice. I like that. Uh, you crazy animation. All right, we'll uh, pull that off of you. Uh, next up, we've got the magazine extender. Pretty self-explanatory. It increases your magazine capacity. Um, we've got the, oh, that's one of the weird ones. Um, I think these ones are meant for maybe the bandits in the future. I, I don't know. Maybe just something they're planning. But yeah, mod shotgun sawed off barrel. Um, oh, this may actually be for crafting weapons. I don't know. Kind of weird. Uh, we got the muzzle brake, which uh, will divert the propellant gases to reduce recoil. So again, Throwing it on a weapon like the AK or the SMG is going to help you in not having such a crazy recoil with those weapons. Um, Reflex Sight is a minor, minor visual magnification, but designed for fast target acquisition um, and improves weapon handling. Um, so again, kind of like the the red dot. Uh, this is going, to, but so the red dot as far as improving your accuracy and your handling. Um, but well, I, I I can just show you. Um, we're going to throw this on the AK, and when we look down the sights. You've got a little bit of, whoa. Is it actually? Well, that's weird. Hope they can get that fixed, because that uh, right now doesn't seem to really do any good. On the bright side, you get a cool red dot. And I'm out of ammo again. There we go. Yeah. Not bad at all. Okay. Up next, uh, we'll pull that off of this gun, and we will take a look at this one. We've got the 
retracting stock. Uh, this will improve weapon handling while moving or firing from the hip because the weapon becomes more manageable in close quarters. So this is going to help you because it, uh, it looks like... Oh jeez, that is annoying. So it empties your ammo every time you mod your weapon. That is really weird and annoying. Um, so you can see what we're moving at this pace. Uh, start firing. I seem to slow down. Yeah, it seemed like I slowed down a little bit, especially when I'm reloading. Um, so this is, this is going to help you with your movement speed when you've got people right up next to you or zombies. Um, let's see here, we've got the rod and spring replacement. It increases the rate of fire on self-loading weapons and increases recoil. Uh, and increases recoil. Whew. Well, that doesn't sound good, but who knows? It could be good in certain situations. Um, up next, we've got the 2x scope, the 4x scope and the 8x scope, so these are just going to be making it so you can see a little bit further, which actually, based on how that red dot thing didn't work so well, I'm really interested to see if these scopes actually work. So here we go, we'll pull that up. Okay. Alright, not bad, not bad. You can see a decent ways away. I mean, there's that tree right there, and that's all the way over there. So, pretty good. Um, also, as you can see with the Alpha 17 update, it's uh, loading the higher res texture on that tree because you can see it closer, which is awesome. Because right now, super low poly, and then zoom in and you've got a texture. Anyway, so that's good to know that those work. Okay, up next, shotgun choke, which will uh, modify the spread to a horizontal pattern instead of a normal round one. Um, so this is going to make your the spread of your shotgun um, go in a horizontal um, line, I suppose, instead of instead of just a clump. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. We'll, uh, reload the shotgun. And we'll move over here to one of these. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I I don't really see much of a difference, but sure. Um, the duck, shotgun duck bill uh, will tighten the shotgun spread. So this is going to make it so if you're shooting at targets a little bit further away, you're going to get a better hit on them. You're going to hit them a little bit with a little, a few more of your um, of your of your I cannot think of what they're called, BBs. Um, up next, Silencer. This is one that I've been really excited for. Um, just, uh, I love silencers on, especially handguns. I love having a silenced handgun and just being able to deal little amounts of damage without people knowing where you are. So we'll, uh, we'll show this off. We've got the pistol. There we go. A nice silencer on there. Let's, uh, let's take a look at that. All right, whoa, 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 go forward, back up. Turn around, there we go. Yeah, look at that. We've got a nice chrysanthemum text right there. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, nice silencer. All right, that's it. Get out of here, chrysanthemum. Nobody likes you. Oh. <laughs> As you can see here, this is a beautiful floating handgun. Um, yeah, it uh, looks good, and uh, hopefully it sounds good too. Oh. Yeah. Like how it shakes the whole screen, but yeah, I mean, it's nine millimeter. We'll uh, zoom in here. Ha! Never knew what hit him. Yeah. Okay, moving on. We're getting uh, making our way through the list. Not bad, not bad. Uh, trigger group burst. Uh, modify the trigger group to fire three round bursts. Modify the trigger group. That's what I could like make my. AK a burst rifle? Is that what you're talking about here? Let's take a look here. And we'll click once. Huh. Come on. Modify. Modify the trigger group to fire three round bursts. Triggered group. I don't really know what the triggered group is. Huh. I'll have to look into that and uh, maybe comment on that later. Unless uh, unless any of you know what that means, the, that it modified the trigger group. Um, if you do, let me know down in the comments below, and you can answer mine and hopefully other people's questions. Uh, next, oh, it looks like triggered group, trigger group. Yeah, what is this? Uh, modified the triggered trigger group to fire semi-auto only, full auto. Huh. I mean, my guess by the sound of it would be it changes the way the gun is going to fire, right? But, 
yeah, I, I don't know. I have it. I don't know what the trigger group is. So I'll have to look into that and let you guys know what I find. Um, and last but not least is the weapon flashlight. Uh, this one's going to be a really cool one as well. So if we head over to, I don't know, the hunting rifle, we'll modify that guy. And we'll throw a flashlight on it. And let's go over here. And we will change the time of day. Set that down to, I don't know, midnight. Ooh. Spooky scary. And we'll turn on the flashlight. Yeah, and now we've got a flashlight on our hunting rifle. So if you're one of those late night hunters like I am, then you can go hunting in the dark. Oh, jeez. That lighting looks amazing. I'm so excited to get into this and just explore Alpha 17. Um, but yeah, that should just about do it for Alpha 17. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah. I kind of hope they uh, change their flashlights a little bit so you can actually blind people. That'd be a good time. Oh well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to uh, like and subscribe and let me know so that I know to keep making these videos. I am super excited for Alpha 17. I hope you guys are too. And I'll continue to do videos like this as I explore different things, um, learn things about Alpha 17. I will post videos about it and I will let you guys know what I find. Um, if you have any suggestions for me, what you'd like to see, or what you'd like me to experiment with in Alpha 17, make sure to leave down in the comments below, and I will get to your requests as soon as possible. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, keep it frosty, friends.